Hello everyone, I'm going to talk about project 2 based on R. Uh, first, we need to use standard normal distribution to simulate 100 companies 1000 times for 1000 scenarios. And then we use the same way to simulate market factors. We had correlations from 0.1 to 0.9 which are needed to use copulas to to calculate uh, company value and uh, uh, coupons from uh, 100 to 1000 base points. Uh, coupons represent the default probabilities. Um, we also got six uh, equity changes, each change determines the range of default, uh, defaulted company numbers. Only when number of defaulted companies is in the range, it would pay off. Uh, for example, uh, if four companies defaulted, the payoff in change 3 to 7 is 1. If two companies defaulted, uh, the payoff in change 3 to 7 is 0. If eight companies defaulted, the payoff in uh, change 3 to 7 is 4. Uh, for each change, we calculate how, ma how many payoffs are, and we calculate the price by uh, taking the average of them. And uh, uh, for how to count the number of defaulted companies, Professor Yakov has shown us in the class. Uh, this is the part, uh, the part uh, the Professor Yakov gave us. And uh, what I need to do is continue coding to calculate payoffs uh, in, in order to get the price. Uh, here is here is how to cal calculate the payoff. Uh, I create a function with three arguments. N is uh, the number of default, and uh, each one and each two are the change. And, and then I use this is apply to uh, calculate the payoff and, and uh, uh, get the price by taking average. And, uh, <coughs> and now uh, we have uh, two parts. The first one is how to uh, count the number of default, and the second one is how to calculate the payoff and price. Uh, I put both two parts into a function called price of change uh, with four arguments of coupon row and th one th two. And uh, but 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 we uh, have to calculate uh, the price that uh, correspond to every single correlation and coupon in one change. So I did the next part. Um, uh, I use the uh, for loop uh, to do this, but the loop is not a good way because it will slow down the operation. Uh, if there are a uh, uh, better way instead of for loop, but I'm, uh, I'm just an uh, R beginner, so let me use this simple way. Uh, and uh, there is TH1 and TH2, uh, and you can change, uh, change the change here. Uh, TH1 uh, equal to zero, TH2 equal to three means change uh, zero to three. And uh, I uh, create uh, a, a ten, ten, ten times uh, ten times nine matrix with all and A's called P first, and then I use uh, for loops. Uh, there are two for loops uh, to generate all price for uh, all rows and coupons in one change, and then I replace all and A's in P with price I calculate in for loops, and uh, to get a new matrix P. Uh, this new matrix P is the matrix about all price. And uh, then uh, we get uh, we need to get the part of price. Uh, I use this I use this uh, this function uh, uh, P R S P uh, uh, the X lab uh, Y lab C lab 
uh, give give name of act uh, of three axes and um, the main gives number a uh, name of uh, the path and uh, phi and theta uh, that you can use it to adjust the point of view. Uh, this is a part of the together twice. Uh, now we can run the road run the code. Uh, for example, we can run uh, the change uh, three seven. Because for loop sort will take us down a time. Yeah, uh, so here is the graph of change of uh, three and seven, and uh, uh, here is the uh, price of all price of one change. Uh, and then we need to calculate the var. Uh, 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 we need to uh, uh, run this price code. Uh, one thousand times. Uh, let me open the uh, uh, var code. Uh, I also use the uh, for loop here, uh, and in order to save all uh, one thousand price matches. I create a three-dimensional uh, array with all NAs, and uh, I call it uh, uh, price simulation. Uh, it's a uh, nine times ten times one thousand array, and uh, uh, then we run the uh, for loop. Uh, here is the here is the Here is the uh, price code, and uh, then we use I use this code to uh, replace all NAs in the price simulation with matrix P. Uh, we we get from uh, this code uh, and get a new three dimension array, and then we can uh, calculate the bar. Uh, I use apply uh, apply uh, here to get the uh, five percent var and uh, the C one two means you indicate rows and columns because uh, the price simulation is a uh, uh, three dimensional array. And uh, the next we use the uh, Cornish Fisher expansion to calculate the calculate the var. Uh, first we uh, get the get the average and uh, standard deviation. Uh, but they are all uh, they are both uh, metrics. Uh, we have to, I have to uh, let them be a uh, three dimensional uh, arrays uh, for the next cal uh, calculation. So I do the, the part, uh, I transfer uh, the matrix to three dim dimensional array. And uh, I run, uh, this code is used to uh, standardize the price. Next, uh, we can calculate the mu one from uh, from mu one to mu five, and uh, from k one to k five, and just and then use the uh, Cornish Fisher expansion to calculate the var. Um, because I use the for loop, uh, if I run the code, it will take very long time to get the result. Uh, so I uh, don't want to. With the time, uh, I will show the result later. And uh, uh, there are all about the coding, and then I'm going to talk about the solution of the project. There are uh, tables about price of all six changes and uh, and uh, uh, there are uh, six graphs of uh, the prices and uh, and we can see 
certain convexity effects for the change. And uh, as we can see, we can uh, uh, yeah. and uh, as we can see, uh, when correlation goes to one and the spread is getting higher, the price uh, is getting higher. And here is the result of uh, 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 I get it from the uh, this code. Code. Uh, it will take a very long time to get it out. Uh, this is a simple way, uh, and uh, this is the Cornish uh, bar. And uh, and for. So for the two ways to calculate bars, uh, we can see uh, ex extremely small difference between two results. Like, uh, for example, here is 1.018, and uh, Cornifish is also the same result. And uh, so, uh, Although they are they are very close, uh, the different excess uh, for the reason of course the, uh, the differences I think uh, these price are not perfect normal distribution not normal distribution uh, so uh, uh, when we use a simple way to source these prices it cannot correct the distribution of prices uh, however using Cornish Fisher expansion can modify skewness and could a courtesies of distribution of prices. So VARS uh, from this way uh, from Cornish Fisher is more uh, exact. And uh, the correlation of products were around 0.4 before the prices while correlation were uh, are approaching to 1 during the prices. As we can see, VARS uh, from uh, from Paris, uh, from the an analysis of change uh, change zero to three uh, for both both way uh, simple way and the uh, way uh, the uh, uh, the VAR is decreasing as the correlation and the coupons go up and and uh, the VARS of uh, 30 to 100 is increasing during the price uh, prices uh, so according to our analysis uh, we can uh, construct a trade that shows change Thirty to one hundred and uh, long change uh, zero to three when the prices is starting. Uh, this is all about the uh, project tool. Uh, thank you all.